I'm an FBI agent. The BAU? You didn't disappoint your parents. We're looking for a man. Season two of Criminal Minds is out on DVD, and it's just in time to catch up on previous episodes as season three is underway on CBS. The show features Mandy Patinkin as Jason Gideon, the head of an elite team of FBI profilers analyzing the behaviors and minds of killers so they can anticipate their next move and capture them. Mandy, who has chosen not to renew his contract for season three due to creative differences, talks about initially surrendering to the decision not to reveal his character's personal life. I railed against, you know, this lack of character stuff in the beginning. And I started to realize at a certain point, you know, I like the mystery of him. I like that you don't know if he's ever been married, if there are wish rings, if, if who this child was that they mentioned once. I didn't want more about him. Paget Brewster, who is the new kid on the team, is thrilled with her job as an FBI profiler. Running around with a real gun and the flak jacket, like in the woods and flashlights, and I had no idea how satisfying that would be. I don't know why it never occurred to me, but it's absolutely exhilarating. Driving fast and the car screeches to a halt and you jump out, FBI, dare you. you feel like a superhero. I mean, it really is incredibly satisfying. And I just never saw that coming. The DVD features extras about how behavioral science works in the real world. And amidst the serious nature of the series, there is a gag reel to break the tension. Season three begins with Gideon missing, paving the way for a new character to be played by Joe Montaigne, recently seen in The Starter Wife. Appearing in the season's fifth episode, Montaigne will play a former member of the Behavioral Analysis Unit who took early retirement to write a book, but has volunteered to return. I may bury my dead out of my sight. He wouldn't get it wrong unless it was on purpose. He's in a cemetery. 